Hello YouTubers and welcome to a new video of Arepas for dinner. So in today's video I bring you four new recipes. Even though one of them I already made them, that's my lentil soup, but I give it a twist so it's fine. And also I'm bringing you, as you requested on my Instagram, that I'm gonna leave here, the name down below, um, my hot cocoa recipe. This recipe I think is absolutely amazing, especially if it's cold, it's very, it's very thick, dense, it's literally almost like a meal. I, I even know that we had it on Tuesday and I know we had it at six and we didn't have dinner until nine because we were so full from the hot chocolate. So it's very delicious, it's um, the second recipe that is in the video. Also, remember that next Tuesday I'm gonna be publishing my Christmas um, video of a Christmas dinner that I'm making here at home is not going to be 100% Christmas dinner because we're going to have Christmas dinner in my in-law so that's going to be a Czech Christmas dinner and the dinner that I'm making is more like a Venezuelan abroad Christmas dinner so that's going to be on Tuesday and on Friday I'm going to publish the Czech Christmas dinner so if you want to see how Czechs celebrate Christmas more or less I'm going to be kind of showing that so I hope you stay tuned for that and that's that let's start with the video pork roast and beetroot salad you will need a big piece of pork, pork gravy pack from McCormick, one tablespoon of powder ranch, half a cup of water, three cups of diced potatoes, one kilogram of beetroots, olive oil, vinegar, salt, and black pepper. On Monday, we had pot roast, but we made it with pork. We had some pork at home from our friend Zabiachka, so we decided to cook that in our slow cooker. We season it using one pack of pork gravy and some ranch powder, as well as some salt and pepper. The deal here is the cooking. That's what matters. That's what makes this recipe amazing. So if you can't find the seasonings where you live, feel free to exchange it for some garlic powder, onion powder, Worcestershire, cumin, salt and pepper. That could work pretty good too. I'm adding now half a cup of water to make the gravy. Cover it and cook it for six hours in high. So, two hours before the roast is ready, we will chop and add three cups of diced potatoes. I have these baby potatoes in hand and that's what I'm using. I'm kind of tearing apart the pork just to make sure about the cooking time. Now we will cook it for the two remaining hours. For the beetroot salad, we're gonna boil some beetroots until they are al dente. Mines were so hard, so I had to boil them for almost 30 minutes but you need to just keep poking them with a knife and fork until the texture is not soft, but you know, the knife can go through. Once they're ready, we take them off the water and we put them in some ice cold water to stop the cooking process. We will peel them and cut them now. I added them to a Tupperware with a lid and we will make the dressing just on top of it directly. We will need some extra virgin olive oil, vinegar, salt and black pepper. And we will shake them very well. Look at my pink hands. It took almost 20 minutes to get rid of the pink. <laughs> okay, keep them in the fridge until dinner time. I made mine around two hours before dinner. Our roast is ready. It was so good. I think one of the best recipes so far. The entire house smelled like heaven. Okay, let's serve everything and enjoy. On Tuesday, as I promised, I made my favorite hot cocoa recipe. It's a mix in between the thick European chocolate and American hot cocoa. So here it goes. You will need half a cup of cacao, four cups of milk, a bar of chocolate, two tablespoons of cornstarch, whipped cream, marshmallows, three tablespoons of stevia or four tablespoons of sugar. In a pot, let's add our milk. I'm adding a total of four cups of milk in two tablespoons of cornstarch. Half a cup of cocoa and three tablespoons of stevia. Now, let's turn on our stove and cook it all. I'm so sorry my hands are covering the camera all the time. I'm making sure that doesn't happen again. So now, I'm adding the chocolate bar. I'm using any normal milk chocolate but you can use dark one if you want. Keep cooking it and moving it until it starts to thicken. This is the desired consistency. If you want it thicker, just add more cornstarch. Or if you want it thinner, just add less. Mm, 
Now, since you can't find mini marshmallows in here, I'm using normal ones and cutting them into mini marshmallows. Really, don't avoid these steps since the marshmallows melt and they become these amazing gooey clouds inside of your cocoa. And of course, I had to top it all with whipped cream. This was so warming, it was literally 2 degrees outside and we had to open the windows because it made us so warm. This is the perfect beverage for winter. On Tuesday, we had some homemade pizza. And for that, you will need pizza dough, tomato sauce, mozzarella, anchovies, olives, ham, onion, and tomatoes. The first step is to preheat your oven to 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. Then, in an oven tray, we will lay some aluminum foil. Remember to put the shiny part up. I'm spraying it with cooking spray, but you can use cooking oil and spread it with a napkin. Let's arrange our pizza dough first. Usually, I like to buy the square one, but I didn't read the label and this was round, so I decided to stretch it to make it more rectangular. Chop and cut all the ingredients you want to use. We're making the pizza half and half, half anchovies and half ham, but we're sharing both halves. I love using tomatoes on my pizza. I think it gives it some freshness that I really enjoy. We couldn't agree if the cheese comes before all the ingredients or after, so we put them before and then after. Jan took out the tomato seeds because he said that makes the pizza too wet. Please let us know down below where does the cheese go, on top of the sauce or on top of everything. We will bake this for 20 minutes. This pizza was delicious. To be honest, nothing beats homemade pizza. I cut my pizza with scissors. What? Yes, I learned that when I was living in Spain. For them it's normal. Honestly, it's life changing. Enjoy! On Wednesday we had chorizo lentils. I cooked this before on the channel, but I'll show it once again. So, for the chorizo lentils you'll need lentils, bell pepper, chorizo, two onions, four garlic cloves, pork or beef stock, adobo goya or similar, potatoes and one carrot. The night before we're gonna submerge our lentils in water to get rid of the gases. We will chop all of our veggies together and add them to the crock pot. Let's rinse our lentils and add them to the slow cooker. Now we will add our stock. Mine was a bit frozen, but that's fine. I added all my stock, about 1.5 liters, and finish it up with water. Let's add our seasoning. I'm using adobo goya, but you can make a seasoning using some salt, cumin, garlic, onion powder. Halfway through the cooking, around four hours, I added my chorizo, but you can totally add it since the beginning. And two hours before it's ready, I added my potatoes and my carrot. The cooking time was a total of eight hours in low, but you could do it in four, but you could do it four hours in high. Enjoy! The last cooking of the week was the Thursday. We had chicken nuggets with fries. You will need diced chicken, breadcrumbs, flour, buttermilk, salt and pepper, ranch powder, oven fries, Creole seasoning, cooking oil, garlic powder. The first step is to dice your chicken into bite-sized pieces or rather nugget pieces. Then preheat your oven to the temperature indicated in the fries bag, around 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. On a small container, add the cream, a pinch of salt, pepper and your chicken. Let it sit for about 10 minutes at least. The ideal time is one hour, but I didn't have the time. On a Ziploc bag, add some flour, breadcrumbs, and ranch seasoning. If you don't have, don't worry. You can use any seasoning you like. Some pepper and garlic powder, for example. Seal the bag and shake it. On a frying pan, add some cooking oil. 
I'm using some flour and turn up the heat to medium high. For the fries, I'm using these McCain fries. They are the best ones I found here in Czech Republic. I will just lay them on top of the aluminum foil and will add the Creole seasoning on top. You can substitute it using some spicy paprika, garlic powder and salt. Bake these fries for 20 minutes. Back to our chicken. We will add our chicken to our Ziploc bag with the crumbs. Now shake it. Let's fry them until they're golden brown. It took about five to six minutes per batch. Place them on a plate with a paper napkin. Enjoy! So that was it guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, many fun things are coming up, it's coming a Venezuelan Christmas dinner as I said at the beginning, a Czech Christmas dinner, also my ski trip here, we are gonna go for a ski trip in between Christmas and New Year's and it's not as simple as go to booking and book your vacation, it's quite different because in Europe it doesn't work that way. I'm I'm gonna be showing you how it works here and how we made our ski trip happen. And that's it, I'll see you next Tuesday with a new video. Have a great day, bye.